We're getting you the latest updates on Chandrayaan 3, which is inching closer and closer to the moon. Five days to go for it to make that soft landing. And in just some time from now, the de-boosting procedure will kick off. ISRO had said that it's going to happen somewhere between 4 to 6 p.m. What exactly do we mean by the de-boosting process? Essentially, lander Vikram's orbit will be brought 112 kilometers around the moon. So closer, it was a 163, now it'll be at 112 kilometers tomorrow. It will be brought to 24 kilometers near the moon. That's on 19th August at 1.30 a.m. is when that crucial maneuver will take place. And that will mean that we are at the closest point to the moon starting tomorrow. These maneuvers is something ISRO is confident about, but extremely crucial in that final chapter of making a soft landing on the moon's South Pole, which will happen as scheduled on 23rd August at 5.45 p.m. But somewhere between now to 6 p.m. is when that crucial maneuver will take place where Chandrayaan-3, where Landam Vikram, uh, which has rover Pragyan with him, will in fact, to be going closer to the moon's surface will be brought to 112 kilometers. Shilpa Nair is joining us with more details on this. Shilpa, uh, those pictures that we're showing uh, is up close and personal with the moon and you think you can't get any closer to the moon before landing but we're actually about 160 kilometers away from the moon. We're going to be getting closer in the next two hours. Well, absolutely, Akshita, we're inching closer to the moon and those images that ISRO has put out uh, is nothing but spectacular and uh, we're just breaking this information. ISRO has in fact put out the latest update. In fact, it says the lander module's health is normal and the lander module successfully underwent a de-boosting operation that reduced its orbit to 113 kilometer into 157 kilometer and the second de-boosting operation is scheduled for August 20th around 2 uh, around 2 a.m. That is what uh, ISRO has just put out. This is the breaking uh, update that we're getting as far as the Chandrayaan-3 mission is concerned because uh, uh, the ISRO had planned for a de-boosting maneuver around 2 p.m., around uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. today and that uh, op uh, maneuver has been successful is what ISRO has just put out. Uh, that means the uh, orbit of the lander uh, landing uh, uh, module or the lander module has been successfully lowered uh, by the ISRO and the next uh, de-boosting uh, maneuver will take place on August 20th. Uh, so that of course is the big update coming in from the side of uh, the uh, ISRO and uh, just a short while back of course uh, ISRO had put out those uh, you know brilliant images those uh, spectacular images of the lunar surface. Uh, in fact uh, uh, those were images captured by the lander imager camera uh, just after it was separated from the propulsion module uh, uh, on August 17th, which is yesterday. So yesterday, of course, uh, there was a, a whole separation that took place. The propulsion module and the lander module got separated. And immediately after that, uh, one of the cameras attached to the lander module, of course, took these images. And that is the image uh, that ISRO has put out, which clearly shows the lunar surface full of crates and uh, possibly somewhere uh, around that area is where uh, you know India uh, Chandrayaan 3 will be making the soft landing on August 23rd. So all eyes now on August 23rd when uh, you know Chandrayaan 3 will be making that soft landing. Uh, it is expected to take place around 5:30 to 5:45 p.m. that evening. Uh, but so far, whatever maneuvers ISRO has uh, you know completed, uh, what they have undertaken, all of it has been successful. Uh, you know, right from the launch to the de-boosting exercise that was performed today, all of them. Uh, have been successful and that is precisely what ISRO was hoping to do as well uh, you know even though the mission was uh, you know it, it couldn't be completed True. last time you know around, it's been picture ISRO perfect so far but as you pointed out Shilpa changes. ISRO has confirmed that the de-boosting has been done we're that much closer now to the moon the next de-boosting operation will happen on August 20th not on August 19th that's been confirmed now by ISRO but now it's been reduced as far as uh, the distance between the land and the moon is concerned, it's reduced its orbit to 113 by 157 kilometers. What that essentially means is that we're about 113 kilometers away from the moon's surface. Now on August 20th, when the next maneuver will take place, which will be at about 2 a.m., that de-boosting operation is also going to be crucial because it will bring that distance down from 113 to about 24 kilometers, the closest point to the moon. 
that operation also will be very, very important because that means that we're as close to the moon as we can get before actually touching down. So at this point, Ashilpa and I have been highlighting it's all picture perfect, running as per schedule, every single uh, timeline, every single deadline so far has been met. Uh, all the pictures that you see on your screens there, on the right of your screens, are pictures that ISRO has released of the view right now that Lander of Vikram is enjoying. And what a view it is. You can see the moon's surface so very clearly. And now the Chandrayaan-3 is just about... 113 kilometers from the lunar surface. August 23rd, Shilpa, is when we're going to be seeing that crucial soft landing taking place. But right now, in every conversation that we've had with the ISRO team, they're extremely confident that they've got it right this time and everything is going as per plan. Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, whenever we speak to scientists at ISRO and even the former scientists who worked on the previous Chandrayaan missions, all of them are extremely confident that this time around, uh, you know, we are going to soft land on the lunar surface. And because, uh, you know, last time when it uh, this, the mission was, uh, you know, uh, couldn't get completed because of certain technical glitches and errors that took place, uh, ISRO has learned from those errors. And that is one of the biggest strengths of this organization, this uh, team of uh, brilliant scientists that we have at ISRO, that they learn from their mistakes and they rectify it. They analyze it thoroughly. Whatever changes had to be made, they have done it this time around and they've launched it. Uh, Chandrayaan 3 was launched with a full confidence that, uh, you know, this time we will make that soft landing on the lunar surface. And so far, whatever maneuvers had to be performed, it has all been successful. It has gone on without any kind of glitch. And the latest update, of, of course, is that, uh, you know, uh, the ISRO had performed a de-boosting exercise, a de boosting maneuver for the uh, lander module and uh, that of course was performed successfully and the current distance like you pointed out Akshita uh, the re it has been reduced the orbit has been reduced to 113 kilometer uh, so that of course uh, you know is the current update and uh, as days progress uh, the lander module uh, will be brought down the distance will further come down and of course uh, on August 23rd is when that soft landing uh, will take place as far as Chandrayaan 3 is concerned uh, but meanwhile, ISRO, you know, uh, because there's a lot of excitement around the country, uh, uh, space enthusiasts, and everyone is very, very excited about this mission. And that is the reason why ISRO also has been putting out various updates, uh, keeping everyone updated about the health of the lander module, uh, uh, what exactly is happening to the propulsion module, the images, uh, because every, uh, even ISRO knows that the entire country is hooked on to this, and everyone's waiting for updates uh, from uh, the team at ISRO, and that is the reason why all these the updates are being put out by the team. Uh, the propulsion module, of course, is still orbiting around uh, the moon, uh, even though it was separated from the lander module. And uh, the propulsion module will continue to carry out various studies, uh, such as studying the uh, you know atmosphere of Earth, etc. So. A array of, uh, you know, uh, tasks being completed, even as uh, the ISRO is, you know, yeah. uh, 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 Finishing one maneuver after another, the next deboosting okay. exercise, of course, will be carried out on August 20th. That, of course, is the latest update. And that's going to happen at 2 a.m. But here on India Today, we will ensure we stay up and get you all those live updates. Thanks very much, Shilpa, for joining us.